believe that for everybody that's watching today and you that have tuned in, this is a time to turn your faith switch on for a fresh time in your life. It's not, don't believe it's going to be like it's just been before. I want to encourage you as we get into the content on this broadcast today, think about where you have been in the last 10 years of your life, and then think where God is going to take you in the next 10 years. This is an exciting season, and I believe the Spirit of God has a word for you that is going to shift your destiny over the course of the next decade. I want to make sure you stay tuned for everything that we're going to share on this broadcast today, because Hank and I are believing with you that your life is going to be changed. Stay tuned. I want you to open your Bibles to 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. I'm so excited to talk to you today about what I feel the Lord is saying about 2020. So as I was traveling to one of my many times into Dallas, I was praying about 2020, and I said, God, speak to me about, you know, this coming year. And I had been in uh, Isaiah 61 a lot, and I just couldn't figure it out. I said, Lord, why are you drawing me to Isaiah uh, chapter 61? I'm not really sure I'm getting what you're trying to say to me. And I was on the plane, the Spirit of God said to me, He said, don't just look at 2020 as just a new year. He said, I want to show you something that is my agenda, my plan, and it's what I want the people to believe uh, what I'm saying to you and what I'm saying about 2020. He said, it's not just that year, it's about a decade. How many of you know we're starting a new decade? If the Lord chooses to tarry, what does He have planned? He said to me, he said, it's not just going to be 2020, but it's also going to be known as the beginning of, watch this, those of you that are watching, the decade known as the decade of difference. And we're going to talk about that. What does God mean, the decade of difference? And we're going to look at it from Scripture, okay? And you say, well, if it happened in Scripture, how do we know that it's going to happen today? Well, God's a God of what I call repetitive patterns. God's a prototype God. He's a God that repeats himself. We've often said history repeats itself. Let me show you, if they will be quick to put up, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9, before we get to our opening text. Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiastics uh, chapter 3, verse 15, and then Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 8. And we're going to start. I want you to see what I call a cord of three strands. In other words, prophetic pattern on how God does things, okay? So when I show you some examples out of Scripture, I don't want you to go, okay, well, that was just for them. And those of you that are watching, you have to understand there's prophetic patterns. There's ways that God does things. He repeats himself. Now, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9 says, the thing or the things that have been is that which shall be, uh, many translations say, again. In other words, what has been shall be again. Okay, how many of you see that? What has been shall be again. Say that. What has been shall be again. Now, watch Ecclesiastes 3, verse 15. Again, we see this pattern again. That which has been is what? Now. In other words, God's repeating himself, but he's not just going to delay it. It's now. Now, watch this. Because that which is to be has already been. History repeats itself. God repeats himself. What has been shall be again. That which has been is now. Someone say now. now. We are going to see this in 2020 that I'm going to show you. We're going to see this in this new decade. And that which is to be has what? Already been. Now, God requires, or here's what it says. God seeks that which has already happened. Okay? God revisits. How many of you know we're asking God for a visitation? And, and in, in a visitation, many times it will have repetitive uh, cycles or repetitive things that God does, but then he'll add something new. Now look at Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 8. This is the best part. And better is the end of a thing than the beginning. So how many understand, even though God repeats himself, it's going to be better. Someone shout better. better. All right, let's go to 2 Chronicles 20, verse 20. Now, this is an important because, uh, scripture because we're coming into what year? 2020. 20. What chapter and verse is this? 2020. 20. Now, let's read it. It says, 
And they rose up early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Watch this. This is the important part. Believe the Lord your God, and you will be established, or what he's speaking will be established. Okay, so we're going to find out what God's speaking. So, believe in the Lord your God, and you will be established. This is our text for this beginning of 2020 in the new decade of difference. Now, watch the another part. Believe his what? Prophets. Believe his prophets and you will prosper. You will be successful. So how many of you know that God will speak through prophetic vessels on what his heart, what his mind is, what his will is, what his agenda is? And if we will align ourselves with this, how many of you know we get the blessings? Believe his prophets, believe his vessels, and you will have success. Second Chronicles 20, 20 is our text that we're going to look at here, or we're looking at for the year 2020 and this new decade. Now, why is this important? Believe as prophets. Believe what God has been saying. Okay, let me give you just kind of a, a tracking of what the Lord's been up to. Because some people don't think God speaks today. They say, well, the Bible is all the, the last that God's spoken. No, that's our final authority. That's our measuring stick. But if God isn't speaking today, then there would be really no use for the Holy Spirit. Because He guides us and leads us into all truth. That requires speaking. It also says that he speaks by his son. We also know that God has set in the church, New Testament, 1 Corinthians 12, 28, prophets, people who speak prophetically. We also know that in 1 Corinthians 14, he talked about how that we can prophesy, which we can talk about what the Lord's heart, mind, will, and, and, and agenda is through prophecy. Now, at the beginning of this year, we saw something that God began to prophesy. And really, uh, last year in 2018, and you can go out to Hank Kuhneman, uh, Instagram. You can go out to One Voice Ministries' Facebook page, and you can like the page, Hank and Brenda, One Voice Ministries. There's a lot of those prophecies out there where God talked in 2018 about what this year would be. Remember, he talked about it would be the year of extreme. Extreme temperatures, extreme records. The word extreme would appear a lot. And then he told us that it would be the year of water. There'd be great rain, great floods. How many of you have seen it? Yeah. This is months before all of this has happened. And you can look, if you don't uh, understand, or maybe you're saying, well, this is all new to me. Go out there. Those prophecies are there to confirm it. But now let's watch what God has been saying, because you have to understand we are coming into something magnificent. If you just look at the news or listen to the news or look at the culture, you may not see clearly what God has and is intending, okay? In fact, one of the prophecies that the Lord revealed at our conference when Daystar was here uploading out there with the satellite truck, God said, don't think, you know, the enemy has been overplaying his hand. The enemy has been doing much. But then the prophecy said, but do you think the Lord God shall or is doing less? And then the prophecy continued, and it said, No, for I am the great I am, and I shall do greater. But if you're looking at the things that are happening in the earth, you'll be like what Jesus said in Luke 21. Men's hearts shall fail them for fear. Why? Because they're looking at the things that are coming on the earth. And they're not in, in tune or remembering what God is saying. So God's been speaking. Now watch what he said. Leading up to this time that we're in right now, he said, that there would be a prayer push needed for 90 days of summer. How many remember that? He said, pray for the president, whether you agree or don't agree. That's not what God said. He said, pray for him. Then he said, right after the 90 days of summer, these prophecies that said, they will say immediately, we are now ready to bring articles of impeachment. How many remember that? Okay. It happened like the next day or two days after the 90 days of official summer was over, you heard this in the land. It's been in the land. Is that not correct? And then God said, when they say this, what has been classified will become declassified. Have we not seen that? Okay, so what is God up to? What, why is all these things happening in the news? And God told us ahead of time. Because he's trying to get us to see something. There's something coming upon this nation, this marble planet that is so profound, it's so awesome, that God doesn't want you to focus on all of that stuff and not see His hand, His heart, His agenda.
so even now, says the Spirit, in the hour and the season and a time in history when the ground is as shifting sand and things seem unstable, things seem unwieldy, and it would seem as though the world around you is coming to crash down. But the Spirit says, did not my word already declare that if you build your house upon the rock, if you build your house upon the kingdom, though the sands move, though the waters and the floods come, and though the winds blow, did I not already declare in my word that you shall not be moved, you shall not be shaken and you shall be shown to stand strong and stable and so it is even in this time for I am bringing my church to a place of prominence where they will stand upon the rock even in this nation and in the nations of the world for though it would seem that persecution has heated up and it has been turned up watch now what I do with my national leaders and those that are called by my name for they they shall rise to a place of celebration and confidence and prominence in this hour. But think not that the enemy has the upper hand. For I, the Spirit, am raising my church to the high place in this season, says the Spirit. In Exodus, God outlines a specific distinction between his people and Egypt. Hank and Brenda now declare that as we enter 2020 and beyond, God is bringing a difference between his people and those on the earth. That means a shift is coming as God invades the earth with his glory, righteousness, and justice. We are entering a decade of difference. For your gift of $45 or more, you will receive Hank Kuhneman's four CD series, The Decade of Difference, his audio recording, a prophetic overview of 2020 and the coming decade, and a mini book titled, The No-Fly Zone, keeping the invasion of the enemy out of your house. These amazing tools will outline what God has shown him concerning this new era of blessing that we are entering. For your gift of $100 or more, we will also include Brenda Kuhneman's DVD teaching, Things Change When We Decree, an audio recording titled Spoken Decrees, and her daily decree gift set, which includes the daily decree book, journal, and bookmark. These teachings will build your faith and allow you to receive what God wants in this decade of difference. God has purposed in this time and season to bring a difference to your life home, family, and finances. Order these encouraging resources now. They will change your life for the better and deepen your walk with the Lord. Give your best gift today by calling 855-777-7907 and mention offer 26120 or go online to hankandbrenda.org. Every gift given helps us keep this program on the air and connects people all over the world to the Word of the Lord. And so he says this, he begins to prophesy, and it was on uh, uh, the time of our conference. He said, watch, there will be two P's that will arise. In other words, I'll start with the letter P. Number one would be power outages. Remember that. The second one, he said, would be protests. And then he prophesied, watch California. How many remember these prophecies? You go and they're, all, they're out there. And he said, watch frigid temperatures. Are we experiencing and seeing frigid temperatures in the United States right now? We're seeing protests that happened at Trump's rally in Minnesota, okay, where they were throwing urine and, 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 and pushing the, the cops. Are you kidding me? Mocking law enforcement. Okay, it's horrible. And I want to say that's how you want to represent yourself? Is this really what we've become? But see, we have to understand something. There's a spirit of God that's driving things, but there's an evil spirit that is driving the contrary. Now, here's why this is important. Protests, power outages, frigid weather, California, impeachment articles, right? Classified, declassified, what's God up to? It's amazing because when God prophesied power outages the next day, it didn't just happen in our church, so it wasn't somebody with the switch going like this. It happened in Omaha three times. But notice the prophecy, and notice what God's agenda is as we get ready to look at 2020 and what God is, is, is signaling for us. 
This prophecy was uh, just in September at our conference. If they'll put it up on the screen, please. It talks about power outages. It says, watch as it manifests. This is September 20th here at Lord of Hosts Church. Across the earth, power outages. And this shall cause men to fear. Why do you fear? God says there shall be a restoration of light. And when the power switch comes back on, pay attention to the places. Now, how many know it's been happening in California? I never thought it would be San Francisco area. But you know what? God referenced California. It's not up to us to decide. And so pay attention to the places for there shall be a unique sign to show why. Why is all this stuff happening? That the awakening that I'm bringing is greater than the agenda of hell that has been against the people of this planet. How many understand that's good news? So God's giving us signs. This is why 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20 is extremely important. You believe and trust in the Lord first and foremost, what he's saying, and then you trust what he's saying through his trusted vessels. Are you here? So what is God saying? As I was on the plane, the Spirit of God began to say to me, he said, this shall be a year of double. And I said, Lord, why is it a year of double? He said, because, he said, look at 2020, I want to show you. He said, again, this is not a coincidence. Notice it's 20, and then you have the same, 20. 20, 20, how many see double? 20, 20. Because God is saying this is a unique year, but it's a unique decade that we're getting ready to enter into. Look at Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7. This is the scripture that the Lord is trying to reveal. Again, what's our opening text? 2 Chronicles 20, 20. Believe the Lord and you will be established. Believe his prophets and you'll have success or you'll prosper. Why am I saying this? Because God is trying to tell us. How many of you in this room, those of you that are watching, you've experienced in just the last decade, 2010 to 2020, that there's been intense warfare. Maybe some of you have been shamed. It's been hard. Maybe you've been harassed, made fun of, treated wrongly, falsely accused, finger pointed at, and it's been a rough going. How many of you, you could say that's you? If you can, raise your hand, those of you that are watching. Now, I've got good news for you because God is saying, all of these signs that are happening in the earth is to point something uniquely that God is wanting to do, not only in the earth, but he's wanting to do for his people. Yeah. It's amazing to me how powerful we think that, you know, kings of the earth are. You know, we, we, we think people are so powerful. We think that the weaponry of the United States is greater than God. Now, I thank God that we're now rebuilding our military. I thank God that we're receiving, you know, ammunition. I, I thank God we're getting the latest, greatest in technology in our military buildup. We need it. How many hearing me? But the armor of the United States or Russia or China, Korea, Iraq, Iran is not as powerful as the most powerful entity on this planet. You know what it is? It's the church. I know you're feeling the weight of what God is saying in that prophetic word, the decade of difference. That's what it's about, is God has purpose for this time and for this season to distinctly bring a difference in your life, your home, your finances, your family, and in the nation that you live in. This is a prophetic time where God is specifically saying these things. Now, think for a moment. What is it that you're facing in your life? Maybe you're looking at things right now as you're watching this broadcast and you're saying, but Hank and Brenda, you don't understand the former season that I've been. You don't understand what I've been through. Listen, the book of Isaiah says something very powerful. In Isaiah 43, it says, it says, consider not the former things of old. But then it goes on in verse 19, the next verse, and it says, behold, I, the Lord, shall do a new thing now. Shall it not spring forth and it be so obvious? God is saying, don't look at the past. Don't look at rewind. It's time to go forward Amen. and understand 2 Chronicles 20, 20. This is a very powerful verse, Brenda. Yes. 2 Chronicles 20, 20, and it says, believe the Lord and you will be established. Well, God is saying this is a decade of difference. Believe his prophets 
and you'll prosper. So I speak to you right now. And whatever it is that you've been facing, whatever it is that maybe has tried to come against you, I speak and declare that there is a restraining order in the spirit yes. against any demonic assignment or hindrance that has come against you. And I say that is removed and cast into the sea. Like Jesus told us, we can speak to the mountain. I speak to that resistance in your life. And I prophesy an anointing of a decade of difference, a year of difference. And every day, yes. you're going to see that something has shifted. It's different for you. In Jesus' name. And one of the things, Hank, and I want to pray for you, you know, just like Jesus, he prayed for Peter. He said, Peter, the devil has come to try to mm. sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith would not fail. So we just stretch our hands toward you yeah. and we say that your faith will not fail. The yeah. failures in the past, they are behind you now. And we prophesy that your faith is strengthened yeah. and uplifted in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to just say, I take that. My yeah. faith is strengthened right now. Yeah. Just receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I do want to encourage you. Uh, we're making a lot of resources available to you on today's broadcast. Hank has some brand new materials talking all about this decade of difference. I believe these resources are life changing. And if your faith has been challenged, Hank, these are going to be encouraging yeah. resources yes. to get in the arsenal, to receive from God and how to kick the devil yeah. out of your house. Yeah. You know, don't let him invade this next decade. If he tried it yeah, last up. decade, then you stand up to the enemy. And I think you are going to be prophetically encouraged by all of these resources and Hank's newest uh, booklet called The No-Fly Zone, yeah. How to Remove the Influence of the Enemy from your life and from your house. So we want to make sure you write us. And you know, it's people just like you that make all the difference when it comes to taking the prophetic word of the Lord around the world. Hank and I are believing we are going to do more things in this next decade than we've ever done before. And it's That's your true. partnership that helps. And we both get blessed. When you support the ministry, we always want to send you something to bless you and encourage your faith. But this is a decade when, Hank, we are committed yes. to going everywhere, everywhere with what God mm -hmm. is Word saying. Lord. This is a pivotal season for the people of God, and we want to make sure that we're doing this together in the name of you Jesus. You know, that's so important. You can help us make a difference in the decade of difference. Yes. You know, we've got a lot of things that God has planned for this ministry that you're helping us. I want to thank every partner. In fact, I stretch my hands towards you partners and I declare yes, that Lord. in this decade of difference, the grace and the anointing of the Spirit of God that rests upon this ministry rests upon you. And I speak and declare, partners, that there is a greater anointing prophetically that comes, for as it's declared in Acts 2, it shall come to pass that my sons and daughters shall prophesy, they'll have dreams and visions. And I speak that now prophetically over you, that in this decade of difference, this new year, that there is a new... Uh, upgrade of yes. prophetic revelation yes. that yes. comes not by your might or power, but by the Spirit of God in this decade of difference. Partners, I thank you. If you haven't yet partnered, this is your opportunity to do so. We need your help. We need you to help us to connect people just like you to the Word of the Lord in the decade of difference. Amen. Well